Welcome to RMC a Bishop channel. My dear brother, sister, once a young man was on his motorbike enjoying his ride. Suddenly there came a junction and it was a red light for him. He just looked around and did not stop but sped away jumping the red light signal. Unfortunately for him, there was traffic police stationed a little away from the junction on the same road. As soon as he crossed the junction, jumping the red light signal, the police immediately moved on to the center of the road in order to block him. Though the motor biker was a bit unwilling to stop, maybe by seeing more police on the road, he stopped. One officer who approached him asked, Did you not see the red light? I saw, sir replied the young man with a smile. Then the officer angrily questioned him, Then why did you not stop at the red light signal? The man then said the truth, Sir, I saw the red light, but I did not see you standing a bit far from the junction, I am sorry. What do we understand from the above real story? The first thing is, the young man was quite honest. He said the truth. But is he really honest? Here there is a small problem. He said the truth only when he was caught. Otherwise, he would have remained a culprit who jumped the red light. Is this the modern philosophy? Are we promoting? that kind of lifestyle. Once the Saint Francis was shouting from his room, looking at the road, there goes Francis, there goes Francis. Hearing this, some friends immediately rushed to his room to find out what was wrong, whether he was out of his mind. When they entered the room and looked through the window in the direction in which Francis was looking, they saw the police carrying, carrying away an accused of robbery from the neighborhood. Then once again said, Francis, there goes Francis, there goes Francis, if not for the mercy of God, if not for the mercy of God. There is a term, daytime gentleman, to denote people who indulge in all kinds of corrupt practices and still remain uncaught. Till one is caught, he is considered to be a good person. But is it true? He is getting caught the real criterion to assess oneself? For RMCA Bishop listeners, this cannot be the benchmark. We need to go beyond all these. We need to be clean before God and before one's own conscience. Does my conscience accuse me of any wrongdoing? Should be the last question that I should ask before going to bed at night. Whether someone saw me doing wrong or not is not the question that we need to ask and it is not based on the answer to this question that we should we give ourselves a clean chit. There is only one question to ask. Does God or my conscience accuse me of any wrong doing? If this is answered negatively, then we can be really happy. If not, we need to repent and change our way of life. Pope Francis said, the most important thing in the life of every man and every woman is not that they should never fall along the way. The important thing is always to get back up, not to stay on the ground licking the wound. Otherwise, Jesus will compare us with the Pharisees and scribes who called, whom he called whitewashed tombs. 
in Matthew 23, 27 and 28, we read, You are like whitewashed tombs which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of the bones of the dead and everything unclean. We cannot remain like this. We need clean it every day from our conscience and God. RMC a Bishop Talks will help us slowly and steadily to become people of integrity. Let us live our lives in such a way that even if the whole world accuses of anything, let not our conscience or God accuse us of anything. Let us ignore the praises and the criticisms of the world. They don't help us on the way to eternal life. They only satisfy our ego temporarily. Therefore, be strong and be faith, be firm in the faith that we are trying to live in the best way possible. And let us try to glorify God in every way possible, including the occasional suffering we undergo like the biblical figure called Job in the Old Testament. That's all for today, my dear. Now I'm going to give you my blessing. May Almighty God bless you and your family. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A soft reminder to all the RMCA regular listeners. Please listen at least two talks every day. It will help you and you will remain blessed. Please do keep me also in your valuable prayers. Kindly look at the screen of your mobile now and see if the word subscribe is still in red color. Please touch it and make it black. Thank you. Now, may I request you for a help, please? Kindly send this talk to your selected five friends who can appreciate and benefit from it. Jesus said, don't throw pearls in front of. Once again, God bless you. Wish you a good day. Yours humbly always in the mission of the church, Bishop Franco Molakil. Thank you.